for most of us, that's probably the biggest goal that we're ever going to save for is retirement. And so a lot of times it, it seems like so far off into the future that it can be hard to motivate ourselves to be saving for our retirement. Mm -hmm. So it does help to really think about what exactly we want retirement to look like. And so for me, I know it's going to be near a beach. I used to say Hawaii. Now I'm thinking it might be Venice because I've spent so much time down in Venice, Florida. But like when I think about, okay, when I'm like completely done working, when when Nick is done working, I can see the places where I would want to live, you know, the beaches that I would want to go to, the restaurants I'd want to eat at. You know, it's like I can see it all because I've been down there, right? And I can get really excited about it and be like, okay, then, you know, that can shift from just being vacation to be like, that's where I live. Yeah. That's awesome. But sometimes just the positive picture pulling us forward might not be enough to get us motivated to action. So we can actually like double charge our goal with both positive and negative emotions. And what I mean by this is let's imagine what would happen if I didn't achieve that goal and I didn't have the retirement that I wanted to in a tropical location. 